Hey guys and uh, welcome into a new uh, updating uh, video for uh, the uh, MSI B450 Tomahawk Max motherboard. This time it will be a, um, a chipset driver update. Um, after looking uh, manually on uh, MSI's website I uh, saw that there are uh, two new um, softwares available. Uh, so, uh, going into Google, type in MSI B450 Tomahawk Max drivers and uh, click on the first link, it will take you to this page. Here, uh, in the uh, right corner, click on Support. Right there, on the red line. Select your uh, operating system. Let's make sure that uh, this really is for uh, Windows uh, 10. Right here. In the uh, BIOS tab, we see the latest version is V33, the one I uh, am currently uh, using. And in the driver tab, in the second one, um, we select the operating system, in my case Windows 10 64-bit. And uh, we see that uh, we have new um, SATA drivers, so for a uh, RAID, um, it is from 22 October. I will uh, download all the system and chipset drivers again from 22 October. We see we have this version 19.10.28. Let's download that also. The onboard graph uh, audio drivers again from twenty uh, second of October. And uh, the land drivers um, this one uh, yeah. It's just uh, the same, so uh, it isn't anything new. So in this video we will uh, manually see if it will uh, install, if we'll need to install the chipset drivers. So this version is really important, 19.10.28. Let's see uh, which one I have right now. So uh, by going into a control panel, the chipset uh, drivers appear for the uh, Ryzen 5 um, 3000 series as this AMD software, and that is the icon right above the AMD Ryzen Master. Um, the current version is on the chipset. 19.10.16 which I have installed and the one that I've just downloaded it's 19.10.28 uh, so it, it will be really uh, good to uh, update it this is what the uh, folder contains we see right here the uh, setup Click on it, double click it, accept and express install.
and uh, restart the computer. It is really important to do a uh, restart after each um, software update. And right now when we go into um, control panel on the AMD software indeed we see 19.10.28 so that is really all now the uh, chipset drivers are all up to date I wish you all the best and I uh, am looking forward to see you in my next videos.